Hey guys, so today we're gonna look at how um, we would how our church sets up each song. So that way it's an easy drag and drop process, like I showed in the last video on how we do um, normal Sunday sets. So for this one, so t this is a song that I had basically just made a multi-track file for. But whenever you get the multi-track, if you download it from multitracks.com, it has an already built Ableton file. So you open that, and this is what you're left. You have, this is it. Like, you don't do anything else. Like, this is what it gives you. So um, first thing is first, you want to come over here, uh, duplicate the click track, rename it to Tempo, the, the one you duplicated. Set, come down here and press Warp and set that to Leader. Then you want to drag the sound down to Infinity so there's nothing playing. Um, that's your first step. Second, all you want to click from all you want to click all your tracks. See, we don't use our BGB tracks live. That's that'll help me later. So I don't put this and put those in the group. Um, it's pain gills, something like that. However you want to say it. Uh, okay, I'll, I'll spell it right. <laughs> so this is anxious. We have heard on high. I know I'm doing a Christmas song in. Uh, may but it's fine so this is angels we've heard on high so we've got our tempo we've got our click and we've got our guide tracks plus we have these group then you want to create a mini track which the shortcut on a map is command shift t you want to put that up here i go ahead and make three mini tracks because we automate our lyrics and lighting with ableton so lyrics lighting and then this one is cues so what's nice about the cues is I go ahead and make that a little smaller. There you go. So for the cues, what we do is we come in and we just rename it, count in. And this is very helpful for in rehearsal. If the worship pastor calls for a specific part of the song, you don't have to try to find it. You can uh, just click on these, the MIDI notes. Um, and I just copy with the markers. Also, whenever you do this, always press Command Shift Save to save as, and then name it with a song name and edit, just so it's easier to find it. Um, I mean, you could do this to the default track. That's your call. Um, personally, we don't, uh, but that's just your call. So do this all the way through the song. And um, once you do that, it's uh, once you do that, the rest of it's pretty easy actually. I've always done it in this view. This is just nicer, it's faster to do. Um, and outro. Boom. And don't I don't do one on the end. So there's all your cues. So, for instance, the worship pastor, if we start the song off, and he's Intro like, hey, you want to start at the chorus. You want to start at the last chorus. Okay, you want to start the last chorus. Boom. Um, that's what they use for those. And then these, I'll show in a different video. This is how we set up our lighting. And I can go in and collapse those. And then I leave the BGV tracks in here for that purpose, for that. So, uh, then you'll need to... So, then after you do that, shake... Click on the tempo track, shift all the way down to your last track, warp them to be that, and then make sure that all of these are set to follow it. Because your your tempo track sets the tempo for the song, and you want that to lead it. You want that to be what leads it, the, sets the tempo. And another thing, I did this beforehand, but a lot of these like tracks don't. Let's see if it's so I go ahead and set this to all external outs, so that way we don't have to do that when we're assigning Dante. So we use uh, Dante, and I color code these and set these up just so it's way easier whenever we're setting up Dante Network. Because, like, the drum, so the way it's set up is we have, so for instance, click and guide is one, drums is two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Eight, nine, nine, and then that doesn't go in Dante because it's vocal. We don't use any BGVs through Dante, but um, that is basically how you would set that up. 
so now, oh, let's go back to our, let's create, just go open a new live set. Now we can go to this song. Oh, there we go. We can go to that song, which was Angels We've Heard on High, which was right here. Take the edit. There it is. You just take it and click, and why can't I grab it? There we go. Boom. And see, that's how that, that's what I was saying with the, uh, on that last video. This is how you make those. And basically, I do that. I, I'm saying that, let me just get shit. This is basically how we do that for all of our um, songs. Every single one in our library is done like this, because then to get ready for Sundays, it's less than a 15-minute process to get all of our tracks in, throw the transitions in, add a pad transition. It's really uh, time-saving. And so, yeah, that's it, guys. Um, thanks so much for watching. Like and subscribe. Hopefully this brought value to your worship ministry. Thank you guys so much for watching.